Hello again. How is everyone doing at this day and age when we're all inside still? <laughs> and will be for a while. Wearing one of my rhinestone bows, of course. Why not? Um, today is... What's today? Tuesday, March 31st. Yes. I just decided to come outside for some time. No, it's a little chilly. It was sunnier earlier, but I just... I haven't really been outside much, so... Because yesterday, the past couple days, it's just been, like, raining. And I love the rain, because I'm a Washingtonian, but, like, I don't want to hang out in it. <laughs> not always. <laughs> So yeah, we've just been kind of hanging out. Uh, Mike and I started working on a puzzle. I can show you that in a little bit. Actually, I'll just show you now because I was going to talk about something else that might take me like a rant. Not a rant, but like an excitement talk about thing. <laughs> so we've been working on this puzzle. Um, it's a raccoon puzzle that I got from like a, like a half price book so, so long ago because <laughs> It is terrifying. I mean, like, here, I'm just gonna, like, give you guys a full, like, look how many puzzle pieces there is. And this is all we've come with. We made the border first, which I never really do, but we decided to do it. But it's hard because there's, like, raccoons and instruments and, like, you know, like, all sorts of different strings and whiskers and different shades of orange and grays. And it's really, it's difficult. It's a very difficult puzzle. We end up moving it to the pool table because... I had it out in the living room for a while, and then we're like, um, yeah, why don't we, why don't we move this out of the main here? This is where I've been camping out today. <laughs> See my, gosh, I should take care of my crap. Ah! And bagel bites. Mike and I have bagel bites. Mike's showering right now, and he has to get ready for class soon. He's been having class from his office. I can show you guys, I guess. And he's not having class right now. We recently cleaned this up, and like, I wish I could explain to you how much better it looks, because it's not going to look that great right now. So we have a lot of suitcases. This is like our storage room. We have a lot in this closet. Yes, we have a bunch of random chairs, just because they used to be around tables and stuff that we don't have anymore, and I guess we just kept the chairs. <laughs> well, I think it's because um, we have a way to expand our table to make it bigger by using this. <laughs> that my dad made and he just stores it here because it's easier so we keep all our chairs in case we have a bunch of people come over which won't happen for a long time obviously but yeah so this used to have boxes literally up to like here and like around it and we had like this small section that like led to these chairs and this is mike's little setup from school he has this little artist tablet and computer we still have a bunch of boxes, but yeah, so we tidied that up. It, it looks so much better than it did before, just trust me. It was crazy, you could barely walk in there. Anyways, yeah, so we've just been hanging out. I'm trying to think. I got more bows. Um, I've been rhinestoning more. Uh, I'll probably show them a different time just because I, I haven't... Uh, they're like stored away, I don't feel like taking them out right now. But yeah, no, I actually recently got these rhinestones from Amazon that really weren't that great. Like, I kind of expected them not to be that great, because it was like $7 for like, the, like, multiple sheets of different colors. Like, it was all the colors of the rainbow, it was pretty cool. But they don't stick very well. <laughs> I'm like, darn it, I'm gonna have to go back to ordering things online from Michaels and stuff. Because they seem to work a lot better staying on bows. Anyways, so, just been hanging, doing bows. Mike and I have been binge-watching Glee. We're almost done with season three. I mean, this is like, third time I feel like we've watched it. Well, okay. Second time we both watched it together. I've watched it probably four or five times. I like Glee. I wish I had something like a Glee club when I was in high school. <clears throat> I don't even remember hearing anything about a glee club in high school and i would have just freaking loved it i know because i wasn't as big a fan of choir because like i love like don't get me wrong choir's cool but like you just stand in one spot and you sing these like choir-esque songs you know you don't really sing pop songs sometimes you do at least when i was in middle school when i actually took choir we didn't really sing that much um of like pop songs or anything it was just like the regular choir things we had a couple songs here and there that i was like i like these but just because of that i was like eh, i don't really want to stick with choir i'd rather do something more performance like like acting anyways 
getting off track as I usually do. I guess there is no track because I'm just updating you and talking about things and thoughts that I've had. <laughs> um, but I've been reading, oh my god, I showed you guys this. I've been reading this book, Britney Spears, or Britney, the biography, Britney Inside the Dream by Steve Davis, who is, I mentioned before that he's a ghostwriter. He's one of those people that usually helps celebrities write their books. Um, and put it into put it into proper words. So he, oh my God, that's actually cold. I'm gonna have to go inside. Yeah, I want to be outside <laughs> for this. You know what? No, I'm gonna stick through it. <laughs> but um, so it's not it's not technically an authorized biography, but he has, like, I think he spent years, years getting all this information. Like it went from like Britney Spears's childhood to like you know her being in the top of fame and like it, it this came out around like 2009 2010 like after she had that breakdown that was so like in the media just because of all the pressure and everything bless her heart i know she's doing so much better nowadays but like yeah so this book was written because of that really it was all leading up to that i think i haven't finished it i'm actually two-thirds through this book though almost yeah and i i've been reading it crazy um which is it's it's rare for me to really pick up a book and just get stuck to it like it's very rare I know it seems weird because I'm sure I've talked about books before that I read series like Divergent series was one of those series that I just could not put down and this is definitely one of those books I hadn't okay so I think I knew that Britney Spears came from Louisiana like that she came from a small town Louisiana but I did not know the extent of it like a very very small town Kentwood Louisiana and that she grew up in a household that really wasn't that great I didn't know that like I really didn't like she had a father who was abusive alcoholic who I think is doing better now and he he actually after that breakdown she had uh, got a cons was it conservatorship or something like that where he's the one that's in charge of what she does um, I read in the book that they're thinking that friends close to him said that that's his way of trying to branch out and be there for Britney the way he was before. So yeah, I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. Like, she really did come from, like, this small town in the middle of nowhere. I was like, what? Like, I know, that's, I feel like that's such a typical, like pop star story ironically because it's like they came from like a lot of stars come from like tennessee and they're like we came from a small town in tennessee and or like things like that and i'm just like wow <laughs> it, it does blow my mind because it makes me feel like you know things are possible that like even i wouldn't want to i don't think i could ever be like some giant superstar <laughs> no but if i really wanted to pursue singing i could probably do it you know if I really, like, find the proper training and pr find the proper connections, I could really do it that in acting. Um, so it's really nice to read those kind of stories. But, yeah, I couldn't believe, I also couldn't believe how, like, innocent she was, really, like, truly. And how she, like, from Mickey Mouse Club was, like, so religious. And she was doing the material from her religious school that she went to. Because when they had school at the Mickey Mouse Club, um, uh, they, like, it was linked to the old schools that they were Part of so they would do stuff from their old schools um and stick with that curriculum so i was like wow that's pretty cool i didn't i didn't know that i always thought there was some specific homeschool system i mean there might be now but back then i thought there was like a system that you followed like everyone followed the same thing but i guess no they don't and so she was always really religious and she was like a, you know always had just like big like faith in god and i don't know i just it blew my mind a little bit because and I learned a lot about, you know, how she was so known for being such a provocative and, like, ooh, like, innocent, yes, yet, like, sexy, you know? Like, <laughs> she was, like, known for that. And even when I look at her videos, I never would have thought, wow, she was really religious and, like, really innocent. And she had that sort of yes ma'am, yes sir, you know, attitude that she grew up, for, like, learning from, like, being in a small town. And she had so much trust in adults, which I read a lot about that and it kind of almost worried me, you know, I'm like, wow, she trusts an adult, like if an adult told her to do something, she would do it, you know, it didn't matter. She just, you know, always trusted their authority, always trusted what they said, you know, and so I'm like, wow, that's a little, that's hard, you know, I feel like in that kind of world, because you can so easily be, like, manipulated that way. But anyways... She still did amazing. I'm getting to the point where it's in the middle of all the pressure and fame. Oops, hold on. My book just fell out. And, like, when she was about 1920. So. But, yeah, no, I've just, I've really been enjoying this book. 
I did not. And there were so many things I didn't know. I also didn't realize that, you know, I was like, wow, she's so innocent and religious and everything. Like, how could she, you know, been like, you know, so innocent yes, yet teasing, you know. And so I, I realized reading that book that she always just looked at it as a character that she was playing. You know, this was a character she put on. It wasn't who she was. It was a character. And she didn't understand when people, like, freaked out over certain things. She's like, wait, I'm just playing a character. And I was like, that's really kind of cool. I mean, it might be one way to sort of separate yourself from, like, your, the, your performance side to, like, who you are. But I know there's a lot of talk of her losing kind of sense of self because she was just so busy. She had a crazy schedule. Like, I know pop stars and you know celebrities have crazy schedules i just i know but like she really had like i feel like you know nowadays there's like people who actually had parents that were like oh that's too much we're gonna space this out to kind of keep them down to earth but i think they literally did everything they possibly could and it wasn't really her parents fault i don't at all like it was like out of lynn her mom's control as well as her dad her dad wasn't really involved as much from the sound of it but like yeah anyways i've been really enjoying that book it's definitely giving me a lot of inspiration and like wanting to i don't know kind of follow my mic's waving at me i don't even know if you can see him <laughs> hold on i'm sorry i'm in the middle of a conversation hi are you trying the PJs on bottom and the thing on top today? I love it. He was, I love that. He was talking about how, like, for his school, since they only see him from, like, the top up, he wants to try just being in his PJs. I was like, do it. You're at home. Why not? You must have, like, to have any sort of benefit from that, you might as well, right? Anyways, Professional I just... on top, comfortable, comfortable on the bottom. Yes, I love it. It's great. Well, good luck with school. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. And I'm back. Sorry, I just wanted to, you know, wish him good luck. I know he has to prep for school and stuff. He might have a little time before, but anyways. My point being, I'm really enjoying this book and it's making me feel really inspired. And, like, I can't believe how fast I'm reading through this. Like, I just, like, it's crazy. Anyways, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Um, doing fun crafts, keeping yourself busy, going out on walks. We've done a few walks ourselves. I really want to get into a routine of dancing. I was kind of getting there with the JoJo videos because I mentioned that. Like, I was watching her live, like, videos where she was teaching dances. But, like, I did, like, one or two videos and I was like, okay. But now I'm like, I really want to try to get the motivation to, like, do it again. I really want I like dancing. Dancing, if I were to pick any sort of workout, dancing is the one. I may not be the best at it, but, man, I have so much fun. All right, so we're going to try to see if I can get myself into that. We'll see. I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again later. Bye.